Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel We Love Art. If you have not already please like and subscribe and follow my YouTube channel. Today we are going answer a question which I got last week. Then I am going to talk about what cerebral palsy is and what causes this. Because some people might know and some people may not know. And this is why I am making this video to educate you a bit more on cerebral palsy for those of you who may not know much. Also, I am still on planning to do the adaptive tools and the recommended artists video. However, this is taking long because there are a lot of writing to do about each of the subjects. I hope this all makes sense to you all. Okay. So we are to going start with a question which I got last week. And it is from John's Art Material Guides, Tutorials and Reviews. They asked what is my favorite thing to draw. Well, that is a really hard question to answer because I like drawing all sorts, but I really like drawing animals and portraits. Because I find for myself that I can get more expression and gratification out of animals and portraits, whereas buildings and landscape I don't get any expression or gratification unless it is sea pictures or for example if there is a boat or a bird by the sea. However, I do some buildings and landscape sketches from time to time if I am feeling like doing one. My favorite drawing that I have drawn so far is the meerkat that I did about two or three years ago now. And the reason being is because that I had put a lot of time and effort into the expression on the face, as this was my first proper sketch that I did. And the second one is the first dog that I sketched and again for all the same reasons like the meerkat sketch. But I very liked how I done the eyes on the dog they bring out a lot of the personality of the dog. I hope this answers your question John. And if anyone else has any questions or queries, please put them in the in the comments section and do not hesitate to ask anything. Okay we are now going to move on to talk about part 1 of cerebral palsy and what that is. So, I am going to start from the beginning. Cerebral palsy is a condition that basically affects someone's muscle control and movement. This is normally caused by an injury before, during or after birth, however this might not be any signs or signals for no reason that is obverse. This affects 1 in 400 children in the United Kingdom. Some main causes include infections in early pregnancy, lack of oxygen to the brain, abnormal brain development, a genetic link but this is very rare. However, there is no cure to get rid of cerebral palsy. But there is physiotherapy and other types of therapy that can help people become more independent in their lives. The treatment and therapy will reflect on the individual needs, as people will be affected in many ways. Therefore, the factors following can increase the likelihood of cerebral palsy includes a difficult or premature birth, twins or multiple birth, if you are a mother between the age of below 20 or over 40, a father under the age of 20, first child or fifth or more children, a baby of birth weight less than 2.5 pounds, a premature birth, less than 37 weeks. I am going to move on to talk about the symptoms of cerebral palsy. The symptoms of cerebral palsy are normally noticeable between the ages of 18 months to 2 years of age. Although in other cases this diagnosis can come on later on in childhood. You or your child may have problems with movement coordination and development. The possible signs of cerebral palsy may include delays in reaching development milestones, being too stiff or too floppy, fidgety, jerky or clumsy movements, muscle spasms, walking on tiptoes. Symptoms will vary depending on the severity and type of cerebral palsy. I hope that part one of educating you on cerebral palsy has been helpful to you all. The reason, 
that I am doing in two parts is because there is a lot to cover, and I want to break it down for you all. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you all next week.